Hi guys, today is DIY Wednesdays and I'm sure you guys are thinking, KL, something looks a little bit off with you. Well, I'm not wearing circle lenses. I decided that, you know, I'm just gonna stick to my regular contacts and hopefully in the future I can finally get LASIK done just because I'm tired of sticking things inside of my eyes. A couple of you guys actually requested a toe thong tutorial and I just thought, isn't a toe thong just a flip-flop? But then I had to go online and search for it and oh my gosh, they are really, really cute. But if you guys wanna make a quick request, go ahead and just shoot it to me over at Facebook, which have a link down below for my Facebook, or you can just send me a photo to Instagram or Twitter, or whichever social network you are following me on. But we are gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's start off with the easier one, and you'll need some lace for this. The best lace to use would be something like this with a thick embroidered floral, which is cleverly called embroidered lace. Anyways, choose a floral that you like and start cutting around it. Here's my lace and I'm going to attach a jump ring to the bottom of it and then attach that to a chain. Next, cut off the chain a little over an inch and this will vary in size depending on your foot. And then I attach a jump ring to it and I make a small loop out of my chain and attach that to the jump ring. So this would be the loop for your toe. And then for the ankle straps, I attach two jump rings on each side of the lace and then I attach a chain on each side of it. At the end of those chains, I went ahead and attached a jump ring and a clasp and you are done with your laced foot g-string thingy. Which by the way, I cannot stop laughing when I hear the word toe thong because I'm super immature and so you're gonna hear a lot of these jokes throughout the whole video. So just yeah, bear with me. So what do you guys think? Simple and sweet enough, right? Okay, so let's work on the knotted one, which isn't too hard, but it's kind of time consuming. So for the main part of this, you'll need some beads and some twine. And I have a little assortment here to dazzle you with. Cut out two pieces of string that are 30 inches in length and fold in half. Tape as closely as you can to the top loop of the string. Next, cut out a string that is about 60 to 70 inches in length, and I place the midpoint under the strands that are taped down. Okay, so I went ahead and tied a knot just to secure it, nothing too fancy here. Now, the fun starts here. Take the left strand, place it under the middle strand, and then over the right. Now take the right strand over the middle, and then under the left, and pull. Now this time, start on the right and go under the middle and then over the left. Take the left over the middle and then under the right loop. Now pull tight again. Starting from the left side, bring it under the middle and then over the right. Take the right over the middle and then through the left loop. So you'll continue knotting until it's around 2 to 3 inches long depending on the size of your middle toe. Remember that you'll alternate the starting strand every time you start a new knot and the one you start with will always go under the middle strand and I've also linked a few other videos of the same technique down below for you if you just want to check those out for some help. So after you have hit your benchmark, go ahead and make a loop with it and you'll feed the six dangling strands through the loop and this will be your middle toe loop. I separate my strands out again with the working strands on both sides and the four base strands in the middle. And then I create knots going down the middle strand. And after three knots, I go ahead and slip on a bead on each side of the working strand and then I create three more knots. I slip on two more beads, then three more knots, and I continue for about two to three inches, depending again on your foot size. And this is what it will look like once you are done. Now I equally divide out those strands to both sides, and this will be the new base strand. I went ahead and taped down one side, taking another string about 60 inches or so in length, and placing the midpoint of it under the base strand, and I start knotting and adding beads, just like I had done earlier. 
Keep knotting until this can wrap from the center front of your ankle to the back of your ankle. Like I said earlier, it's not really hard, it's just a little bit more tedious, but it's totally worth it in the end when you are done. And by the way, I also can't stop humming the thong song in my head. Do you guys remember the thong song? She got dumped like a truck, 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 that's like what? What, what? Oh wait, hold on, I gotta get back to the tutorial. Um, where are we? Oh, okay, so once you have reached the length that is needed, go ahead and pull as tight as you possibly can. And just for reassurance, I went ahead and dabbled on some super glue on each side of it. Then you're gonna do this on the other side and you'll get an upside down Y like this. So once the glue dries on both sides, trim everything down so that there's only two base strands left on each side. For closures, I'm just using a jump ring and a clasp. And it's really easy, I just went ahead and tied the two base strands left over onto each one of them. For security, I went ahead and added glue to the knots on the jump ring and on the clasp. Then I trimmed off the excess and ta-da! Another cute toe thong. So what do you guys think? Pretty lovely, huh? Okay, so that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Remember that all of my videos are going to be uploaded from now on on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm trying to aim for that. My schedule has been a little bit off lately. I know, I know. And if there's construction going on outside of my home, so that's kind of a bother. Okay, so if you guys have tried out any of my DIYs, remember to shoot me a photo to my Instagram or Twitter or Facebook with the hashtag S-L-O-A-B-N. I'm sure you guys are already tired of me saying that at the end of all of my videos. For those of you who entered my dress giveaway, congratulations to Lisa Lee from Boston, Massachusetts. I already announced the winner on Instagram a couple of days ago. But congrats to you again for winning my dress in a size 4 in Tango Tangerine. So yay for that. For those of you who didn't win the dress, if you want to purchase a dress and support me as an up-and-coming designer, um, you can go ahead and check out my very small website, LonelySoul.com, which will probably change in the near future, but I'm just going to use that domain for now until I figure stuff out just to see where this is taking me. I also newly made some peplum shirts that I have up on the site too, so that's really exciting and hopefully I can get shorts out for the summer, um, planning for swimsuit season and yeah just a lot of crazy things that I really want to try out and see if you know it's gonna happen <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching make sure you kind of tackle the DIY just because I think this is probably one of the easier ones and I will talk to you guys later rock on DIYers bye yeah and then we got our little stampy card here last time we got two stamps on it but I forgot so now we have to get a new card but this equates to two things of Chipotle here. That's what we're having for dinner. And we had a coupon to Chipotle, so it was like a free Saturday.